guys welcome back to our youtube channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back so today i'm going to be reacting to 10 surprising miracles of jesus in islam so without wasting time let's get into the video not just in christianity but also in islam jesus is seen as someone who did many surprising and amazing miracles most people are familiar with jesus turning water into wine and walking on water according to the christian holy book but what does Muslim texts have to say? Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton. And now let's take a look at 10 surprising miracles performed by Jesus according to the religion of Islam. Be sure to watch this video all the way from 10 down to number one so you don't miss any of these miracles. Okay, so let's get this episode started. The first miracle that we're gonna be looking at is Jesus speaking in the cradle. So to give birth to a child while being a virgin, of course, was a criminal act during the time of Jesus. And the Quran details the way that Mary was saved from being charged as guilty for this by Jesus, who was still a baby, in the cradle, and he spoke. You'll find this in the Quran, Surah 19, verses 27 to 30. And this is what it says. Then she brought him to her people, carrying him. They said, O oh Mary, you have certainly done a thing unprecedented. O oh sister of Aaron, your father was not a man of evil, nor was your mother unchaste. So she pointed to him. They said, How can we speak to one who is in the cradle, a child? Jesus said, Indeed, I am the servant of Allah. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet. That must have been crazy. Talking baby. Yo. The next miracle we're going to look at, number nine, is a table filled with food. So in the fifth surah of the Quran, this miracle of Jesus is mentioned. The disciples of Jesus asked him to ask God to send down a table filled with food and for it to be a special day of commemoration for them in the future. And in the Quran, surah 5, verses 112 to 114, it has the following to say. And remember when the disciples said, O oh Jesus, son of Mary, can your Lord send down to us a table spread with food from heaven? Jesus said, Fear Allah, if you should be believers. They said, We wish to eat from it and let our hearts be reassured and know that you have been truthful to us and be among its witnesses. Said Jesus, the son of Mary, O oh Allah, our Lord, send down to us a table spread with food from the heavens to be for us a festival for the first of us and the last of us and a sign from you and provide for us and you are the best of providers and yep that's exactly what happened the table was filled with food let's talk about creating a bird at number eight this is another miracle that's related to jesus that's mentioned in the quran where jesus created a live bird out of clay in surah 3 verses 49 it says and make him a messenger to the children of Israel who will say, Indeed, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord in that I designed for you from clay that which is like the form of a bird. Then I breathe into it and it becomes a bird by permission of Allah. Jesus also performed the miracle of disclosing secrets. Jesus was informing people about those things which were secrets to other people such as what they ate at home as well as what they had hidden in their home. In Surah 3 verses 49, it also says, And I inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. Indeed, in that is a sign for you, if you are believers. Muslims teach that Jesus was a chosen messenger of God and hence God revealed to him secrets. You also find another passage in Surah 72 verses 26 to 27 that says, He, Allah alone, is the all-knower of the unseen, and he reveals to none his unseen, except to a messenger whom he has chosen. Also, according to Islam, Jesus prophesied of Ahmad. So let me break this down for you. One of the missions of all the previous prophets had to do with announcing and prophesying that other prophets were gonna come. Similarly, quoting from Prophet Jesus, this is what the Quran says. And remember when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am the messenger of Allah unto you, confirming the Torah which came before me, and give glad tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmad. But when he, Ahmad, 
came to them with clear proofs, they said this is plain magic. And that's taken from Surah 61, verses 6. And if you didn't know already, Ahmad was another name for the Prophet Muhammad. We have five more miracles to take a look at in this episode, but before I do that, just gotta let you know that we do have a similar video where we talk about Jesus according to the religion of Christianity, as well as we talk about Jesus in the religion of Islam as well. We have a lot more information that we're not gonna be able to cover in this episode, so check out some of the links below in the video description section. It'll take you to more videos. I highly recommend those if you want to continue increasing your knowledge about Jesus in Christianity as well as Islam. The next miracle coming in at number five, we got to talk about bringing people back to life. Now this is intense. The act of causing a living creature to die or reviving the dead to life is like completely out of this world. And one of the miracles of Jesus was that he was, by the permission of God, able to bring the dead back to life. In the Quran, in Surah 3, verse 49, it is mentioned, I give life to the dead by permission of Allah. However, the Quran does not give the details of the person or people that Jesus brought back to life. It just said that he has the ability to do so, or I should say was allowed to do so by permission of God. We've sort of addressed this next one, but let's talk a little bit more about it, and that is the virgin birth. One day, as Mary was praying in her isolated place of worship, suddenly some angels appeared to her, and in the Quran it talks about this. It says, and mention when the angels said, O oh Mary, indeed Allah gives you good tidings of a word from him, whose name will be the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary. Distinguish in this world and the hereafter, and among those brought near to Allah. He will speak to the people in the cradle and in maturity, and will be of the righteous. She said, My Lord, how will I have a child when no man has touched me? The angel said, Such is Allah. He creates what he wills. When he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. Healing lepers comes in at number three. Now, leprosy is a chronic progressive bacterial infection caused by the bacterium Mycobacterium leprae. It primarily affects the nerves of the extremities, the skin, and the lining of the nose and the upper respiratory tract. And leprosy also goes by the name of Hansen's disease. The Quran mentions the following in Surah 3 verses 49 also, and I cure the blind and the leper. Also when we go further into Surah 5 verse 110, and you heal the blind and the leper with my permission. All right, number two has a pretty interesting one, probably the most interesting one in this entire video. It's about the miracle that was recorded in the Hadith, so the Quran doesn't mention this, but it was from Al-Tabari and reported by Mahmoud M. Ayyub in the book titled The Quran and Its Interpreters, Volume 2, The House of Imran. As the story goes, Jesus, when he was young, he was playing with some kids in the community and telling them what food their parents were making for them at home. And some of the parents, they learned about this and they started to get really annoyed and stop their children from playing with Jesus because they're saying things like he's a magician, he's not a good influence for them. And the parents kept their children away from Jesus and they ended up gathering them into one house. And one day, you know, Jesus was feeling lonely and he went out to look for some of his friends to play with. And he came to this house where all the kids were and the parents were actually hiding them in that house. And the parents lied and said that the children were not there. And the parents ended up calling Jesus a pig when Jesus kept questioning. He's like, but who's in the house then if you're saying that the kids aren't here? And after being called a pig, Jesus then said, let there be swine in this house. And that turned all the children in the house into swine. The miracle that we're gonna end off is Jesus being raised to heaven. In the Quran, we also read the following verses. And for their saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but another was made to resemble him to them. 
and indeed those who defer over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him for certain. Rather, Allah raised him to himself. And ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. And there is none from the people of the scripture, but that he will surely believe in Jesus before his death. And on the day of resurrection, he will be against them a witness. And that's quoted from Surah 4 verses 157 to 159. And that's where I'm going to end this episode. This was a look at 10 surprising miracles of Jesus in the religion of Islam. I know, pretty interesting episode. I do have those related ones again below in the video description section. So you can watch those to keep on learning. And as always, I want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. Join on the conversation. This is how we do here on FTD Facts. We like to talk about the different religions, people, countries, and cultures from all around the world. All right, guys, until next time, stay awesome, stay educated. I'll see each and every one of you real soon. Very interesting um, video. Uh, the second one talking about turning children into swines. Why? Why though? And how old was Jesus at this point? Also, sometimes I feel like sometimes parents are very apt, but then sometimes parents are in the right because they want to keep you away from certain things. But in this situation, I'm trying to understand just because he was able to heal people that's why they were keeping the children away what exactly was it and i think it's an overreaction to turn children into swines but maybe it was normal back then also the talking baby always gets me all the time like you're just born what do you have to say you know but i guess these are miracles of back in the day uh this like Lyria said was an interesting video, always interesting to learn new things, to learn about certain things that you yourself may not come across on your own and someone has compiled a video here to give us these um, points. And I really enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. If there's anything you want me to react to, let me know by dropping the link down below. I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.